Step right up, step right up. Don't be shy there, lad. You will got the kind of sort who of enjoy a good old game of bitch hunt. Because why not, right? Hey there, guys, welcome back to the Let's Play for Velvet Assassin. Now, since the last time you saw me, I walked through the door, had a brief check out of the Iron Gates here, and discovered there are about 600,000 billion Nazis out here. Uh, as such, rather than attempting to sneak past them, which would be technically possible due to the amount of shadows and things, I'm going to instead, uh, I'm going to do it the cheap way basically, I'm going to put on the SS uniform and just walk past them. That seems like a better idea all around. That's sad. Fuck it. These guys almost never stand bloody still. I'm going to say almost never. They stand still quite often, just in really, really inopportune places. You know, technically speaking, looking at it now, I think I probably could have just snuck around the edges. There's more than enough shadows and things. In fact, yeah, here we go. There's a spot right here where I could have easily just hung out for a while to, yeah, memorize their patrol routes and then gone by that way. Yeah, well, whatever, right? We live and we learn. The important part is making sure you actually live. Fuck, no, no. It'd be much better if they actually required a line of sight to do this rather than just, you know, proximity alone. It'll be easier for me at least, anyway. That was his car. Oh. No, fuck you. I had to find a way Oh for fuck's sake, really? He was probably well, whatever. In there. Nah, like a boss. You saw nothing. I don't know why they became auto suspicious the moment I went near the church. You know, I've got the proper uniform and everything, I'm presumably I am one of you, so why would you just randomly spaz out like that? It appeared as though I had found a way into the cathedral. I didn't know where the dark, musty vaults of the crypt would lead. The SS certainly were not here to hold a service. Whatever they were plundering, they were doing me a favor. They had finally delivered the butcher to me. I had to be careful. Shunsel and his infamous bodyguards could have been anywhere in the building. If there was an alarm, I would be certain to run into difficulties. And Shansel, that psychopath, would take refuge behind his men. That's a reassuring thought. Hey, where'd my uniform go? I mean, I don't actually need it for this level, as I recall, but still. Actually, wouldn't be very good in close quarters at all, would it? Can't exactly, you know, give people the length and breadth of an entire courtyard away from me. But I'm in tiny enclosed spaces. You know, whatever, right? Time to be sneaky. I see you there, Mr. Natty Man. I want to introduce you to my friend. I call him Daniel. Daniel the Dagger. He sounds like a really shit name as I say it out loud. I should never have mentioned it. Right. Ow. Your phone just randomly popped and clicked there. That was painful. Are you going to come this way at all? It's kind of awkward to stab you when you're uh, standing over there in the middle of the light. Oh, dude. Get some Cynex or something, would you? I mean, I've got the excuse of still being ill. What's yours? You don't have one. They're getting used to spending all day patrolling a dank, musty crypt. Okay, so perhaps you have got an excuse, but even more so, the stuff that's going up your nose, you don't want to be swallowing that. That's bone dust, skin flakes. You know, it's a dead plague victim. <laughs> Knock him out and then stab him in the neck anyway. Well done, Violet. The fuck? Oh, game! Game! Why would you close the door as I was walking towards it? Why would you do that? Seriously, why? What possible reason could you have? There's a bit of a German Luger now, though. that's interesting. What else for goodies are there around here then? Collectibles? Weapons locker? Ah, my Colt! Excellent! My sneaky gun! It's got ammo in it for a change as well. That helps. I've got my sneaky sneaky gun. Speaking of being sneaky... I can hear at least one other dude around here somewhere. 
Where is he? <coughs> you changed locations. We've gone from being orange and tan all the God damn it. Who saw me? You run the corner, how the fuck did you see me? Unless you ran behind cover the moment I appeared. Even so, I'm still calling bullshit on that mate. Stab you through the heart. Nah, and your gay ass friend can't find me either. Ah, oh, where did she go? I had a flash of boobies and then suddenly she was gone. She a mutant or a ninja? Or both? Oh, piss off, you swing round and spot me. Your torch doesn't extend that far. I've still got the blue glow that means I'm not in sight. Stand still, son. To aim this carefully, it's a pain in the ass with this control. There we go. Much better. Okay, anyone else gonna try and pop out and ruin my excellent plan to be all stealthy and sneaky and shit? Thank you. I mean, uh, I know for a fact that this, ge uh, this game, this level even, ends in a boss fight, so, you know. I sure as pissing hell don't want to use up any of my ammo if I don't have to. Ah, thick. Nope. Right, note to self, this time, try and plan that a bit better. Perhaps actually go into hiding rather than freezing by the doorway. Like a ditz. Hmm. Ah. I could try to pull the pin from the soldier's grenade. Then he'd be a walking bomb. Seriously, love, what is wrong with you? It's a good idea and all, but still, what is wrong? Let's do this then. Push that button, that's the wrong button! That's the wrong button, why would you push that button? God damn it. Well oh, good, now they all know that something's gone on. Well done, Vilas. Well done. I've got no morphine left, so I can't try and insta-kill the pair of them. God damn it. Oh, whatever. Well, they're busy investigating their dead friend. I guess I can get to the other side of the room and try and get out of here. You know, with any luck. Right, doors over there, yeah? Yeah, marvellous. Yes, I know I'm just listing things that all of you can already see, but it requires a surprising amount of concentration not to get killed in this game. It's gonna come straight towards me, so I haven't got a choice. Fuck, 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 fuck. Push the door, push the door! Ah, the perfect crime. Like a ninja. Was under high voltage. Ah, good I stuff. Turn off the power right, so now I'm, I'm now back in the section of the game I actually remember, so that's helpful, right? Now, the first thing I need is the key. Uh, it's hidden around here somewhere. In order to get to that key, you need to kill a couple of Nazis. I know, a big shocker in this game, right? And steal it off a dude who's uh, acquired himself a um, a golden statue of the Virgin Mary. Very bizarre. Let's try. There we go. It's B, not A, to trigger the grenades. Boom goes the dynamite. You guys didn't even see me. Wasn't exactly being subtle there. Yeah, whatever, right? Uh, is it this door? This is the supply room. Should be some morphine in here, I do believe. Yes, excellent. Is there anything else apart from the morphine? Oh, hello. Health kit. <laughs> Seriously, health kits are absolutely pointless in this game. If you get spotted, you're dead. Well, I'll say, if you get spotted and shot out, you're dead, basically. There's literally no point in having health kits. Or whatever, right? Wunderschön. Das Teil wiegt bestimmt über 200 Kilo. Is that the dude I'm supposed to be after? Yeah, must be a shorter level than I thought. Boom! And splat! That's right, you... Ooh. So now I'm tripping balls again. That was weird. This is why we don't, uh... Yeah, this is why we don't abuse morphine, kids. Weird shit like this. Ooh, I can upgrade again. Nice! Upgrade my stealth speed yet again, please. No, stealth speed. Thank you. Marvellous. It takes quite a while though before you start noticing any real effect of upgrading the stealth speed though. The movement speed increases very, very slowly each time. 
it'll be quite a while until I can move at like full running pace while crouched. Which you can, that's amazing. You can zip and zag all over the map and shit. It's great. Uh, this door, right? I was completely confused. Nothing in the corner, was there? No. I was convinced for a second though, there's supposed to be a goodie around here somewhere. Other than the one I pinched off that dude's corpse, obviously. Interesting side note. If you attempt to lure a Nazi back this way and turn back on the electricity so that water gets electrified, it won't affect them. I don't know why you... I mean, I know they're wearing rubber boots, but so is she. So I don't know why it hurts her either. Just a bit weird if you ask me. Another interesting side effect. Due to the physics engine, he'll fall over and slide straight down the stairs and out of their view. So I don't have to worry about trying to hide the body. There is a way of making them aware of it, however, I think. There's a switch around here somewhere that turns the light on down there. The moment it turns on, they can see the body and they freak out. Now one of them pisses off back towards where the water is, and the other one goes over to the switch, which gives you an ample opportunity to uh, kill their ass, basically. Ah, so much more subtle. Running straight past them, covered in blood and lingerie. Makes so much more sense. It's kind of annoying that you automatically get set into run mode, though. There are some times where if you forget to hit um, crouch, as soon as you uh, finish morphine mode, it can fuck you up. Speaking of, turns on the lights. Oh my god, there's a dead guy down there! Right, you go investigate that with your little boyfriend comes to investigate me. Who fuck? No, no, you saw nothing. Let's right, get rid of you. Splat! Ah! Savior of the universe. Now the other guy will come up here and find his corpse. He'll freak out and go... Oh, right. See, normally he goes left. Hmm. I'm slightly uncertain of what to do now. He's done something that I didn't expect. You really not going to bother with the corpse of your friend? It doesn't really bother me if you don't. I mean, I can shoot you from here quite easily. As long as you stay still. God damn it. Right. In the face. No, the face! There we go. Very precise aiming on this game. Again, it's all part of the difficulty though. You actually have to, you know, aim and shit. She turns that back on, doesn't it? Yeah. Just highlights the dead body I produced earlier. And obviously if you're trying to do a, um, a stealth run of this, you don't want to ever turn that light on. At least not with a dead dude down there. Perhaps if you sneak down there and drag him out of the way first. Try and do it that way, maybe. But other than that, yeah, you definitely don't want to um, use the light unless you have to. Uh, is there anything down here? I'm sure there's supposed to be a goodie hidden down here somewhere. Hmm. Guess not. Right, straight through the door then, I guess. Alright, crouch mode activated. Be very careful and very sneaky. It's the name of the... Ooh, okay. Three of you, isn't there? If I remember correctly, you're gonna go rest over there? Yes, you are. Casual Nazi is casual. He's got a Hawaiian shirt on underneath that. You can't see it, of course, because it's a huge trench coat thing, but yeah. He's also goddamn casual. Wait, you. Take that to the spine. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Thank you. See, sometimes they fall in really awkward positions. And uh, when they do so, it's very hard to pick them up. Especially if you have to do it on like a timer. Not really a timer, if you have to do it before on the other spot, you know I mean. There's only him who really patrols the other two. Well, the other two remain casual. As is their thing. Oh, dear God. Right in the strudel. That's uh, rather unfortunate for you there, matey. Valt has issues. Yeah. Anywho. Uh, just one guy left. It doesn't really matter if I walk across the light to kill him. So I don't think my shadow goes anywhere. No, my shadow goes to the right, so he's never going to see it. Still, let's not be let's not be too risky, shall we? Stay in the shadow when we can. Ouch! That was a kidney blow. Well, not really a blow, it was a stab. Either way, it's 
not a good thing to have done to you. It's never well. There's no manner of violence, murders ever particularly good to have happen. It's health kit and a letter. Now some people have said they do actually want to hear the letters. So, my dear Hilda, beloved, I have every one of your letters with me always. Even now, as I write these lines in a hurry, just imagine what we found here in Paris. Actually, I'm not allowed to tell you, but I know you will never tell anyone about it. Many treasures of incredible value were stored in the crypt. Just think, Herman told me that they found the heart of the Holy Virgin of Orléans, Jean of Arc, in one of the chests. The heart which miraculously did not burn on her pyre. Chancel will come to inspect it and take away all of the treasures personally. I suspect that he will keep some of them for himself. If we are lucky, we will receive special leave afterwards. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Then we could finally see each other again, my dearest. I hope very much that it happens. Forever yours, Rudiger. Well, looking at this ray, Rudy, my old boy, Hildy can come visit your grave whenever she likes. Nah, <laughs> uh, it sounds cruel, I know, but he was a Nazi. Can't be expected to care, really, can I? <gasps> shotgun! Shotgun, shotgun. I got me a shotgun. Definitely one of the best weapons in this game. You do eventually get your hands on a sniper rifle, I believe. But it's kind of limited. You get very little ammo for it. And um, what you can actually achieve with it is pretty limited as well, unfortunately. Kind of disappointing, I know. But yeah. Them to the brakes, I guess, right? Okay, okay, okay. Flashback time. Time to trip some balls. Seriously, don't do drugs, kids. Alors, comment te sens-tu? Where she will see Frenchmen and bloom everywhere. You know, it is quite nice actually to have the balls to have everyone talk in their native languages for this game. Don't have everyone speaking English with terrible accents. Ooh, the plot thickens. Obviously, we're going back through Violet's memories. The question remains how did she end up getting shot and whatnot? Seems to be a bit of disagreement in amongst uh, her local superiors there. Obviously, after she finished her missions, someone decided it would be be best for her, all concerned, if. Uh, a cap would be popped in her finely shaped ass, so she could never actually tell anyone about what she'd done. But apparently there's some sort of dissent amongst the ranks there, not everyone can agree whether or not it'd be a good thing for her to be dead. So you get little flashbacks, stuff she remembers happening that really did happen, stuff that's just hallucinations, and stuff like that. He was here. It's actually happening in the present as she's recalling this. His final hour had run. His final hour, really? Are you Arnold Schwarzenegger now for the bad puns? No, oh, whatever, right? There's pretty much no way of getting around this. As soon as I stab this guy, the other one's gonna notice. I'm not sure why that happens, because he just he never looks over this way. So why he suddenly notices as you do it, I'm not entirely certain. That's why I'm gonna use my pistol, not my shotgun, because I need the shotgun for what's coming up. There we go. Thankfully, it's a rather easy thing to do. He never actually walks around the corner for some reason. He just stands there. If you can find the right angle, you can edge out and then take care of him. Always welcome. All right, bullet vest. I forgot about that. The amount of times I've done this level in the past um, without the bullet vest, so you get killed in like two shots if you, well, if you fuck it up, basically. It's really annoying when you get to the. Um, Well, basically the boss of this area. I mean, he takes like two or three shots for some reason, even with a shotgun. I think he takes even more if you try and do it with a pistol. I'm not sure if you can actually sneak up on him, though. I don't think you can, to be quite frank. Hmm. We're not certain, though. We never tried to do it. I've usually stuck with the shotgun and just blasted him in the face a couple of times till he died. <sighs> Speaking of, I'll show you guys something real quick though. So I get the shotgun ammo off the guys I kill, so. Yeah, you see him there? See how I can clearly aim at him? What happens if I fire? Doesn't even register as a hit. Registers as um 
him spotting me, but doesn't register as a hit. Likewise, as I recall, it's not actually pop fucking hit the pissing thing. Excuse me there, son. I hit, you with, I hit you with my pistol straight away, but the shotgun blast? What was deflected by these wooden boxes? You know, bookshop's renowned for doing that, being deflected by boxes. Unless the third guy is down here somewhere. Yeah, the tendency to spaz out and run up a corner for some reason. Where is he? Oh, there he is. See, just like I said, he just sort of stands up the corner for some reason. And a couple of times he'll run and get stuck underneath the stairs as well. At least he does when you come in, their guns blazing. I'm not sure what he does if you try the stealthy approach. I'm not sure if you even can try the stealthy approach, to be quite frank. Not in this section of the game, anyway. Reload my shotgun. There is a manual reload button, but I haven't got enough buttons to actually map it. So, yeah, it's going to prove awkward in some of these combat sections. Let's grab your shotgun ammo as well. I now have 12 shots, more than enough to kill any man, even a boss character with ridiculous amounts of health and things. Medkits, that would actually be useful to have lost, well, a fraction of a sliver of health. Because the bullet vest is pretty damn effective. The whole idea of this section is not um, for you to endure it. It's supposed to be the catharsis at the end of all the sneaking and whatnot. The bullet vest makes you, unless you're really, really bad and you let them hit you repeatedly, you're damn near invincible wearing this thing. It's designed literally to let you charge in and repeatedly you know, blow Nazis away. Straight in the face. Yeah. If I get this wrong, he's going to run further up the bell tower, isn't he? I'm going to have to keep chasing him and fighting more dudes in between then and now. Let's try and get it right first time, eh? Right. Dude standing there, blow him away. No, but looking at me, I could have snuck, snuck attack him, really, but didn't really think about it. You shouldn't take that many shotgun blasts to take him down, especially when you hit him in the back of the head the first time. Oh, whatever, right? Okay. That's basically the end of the mission, though, so that's it for me. Bye-bye. After the butcher was dead, peace returned to Paris. At least for one night.